going on, Jerome's? Your Minnesota Fighting Vikings are right meow, the hottest team in the National Football League. They take the show on the road to Denver, Sunday Night Football, taking on the stupid-ass Broncos and stupid-ass Sean Payton. And also, apparently Russell Wilson ain't dead. Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, But the Broncos are four and five, kind of staying alive in the uh, AFC. uh, And first injury report is out. Vikings had a walkthrough on Wednesday, uh, as has been their their MO throughout uh, the later parts of the season. I love that Kevin O'Connell is keeping the guys fresh. Uh, Three. So this estimation on if it was a full practice, who would have been in, who would have been out. So uh, three. Uh, three DNP estimated uh, on Wednesday. Uh, Caleb Evans with that calf injury that cost him part of the Saints game. That's something to monitor. Although uh, Makai Blackman, Andrew Boot Jr. have played extremely well uh, in his place. Uh, Greg Joseph, uh, personal matter. Missed uh, Alexander Madison. Uh, did suffer a concussion uh, during the game against the Saints. Now, I think it might be a little bit aggressive uh, for him to clear for Sunday night against the Broncos. Uh, Kevin O'Connell and staff has been very cautious about uh, concussions. Uh, For example, K.J. Osborne cleared uh, for last Sunday's game, but they still held him out to sort of save him from himself. Uh, And the average round league has been about nine days to clear concussion protocol. So uh, I I think that Madison is going to be out on Sunday. uh, And uh, also the uh, Ty Chandler should be taking over the running back one duties. Also a little bit more. Uh, King Kenny mixed in there. Uh, Asamoa, uh, Jaron Hall, Hawkinson, uh, Justin Friggin, Jefferson, Nick Mullins, all listed as limited. Now, the 21-day window for Nick Mullins uh, started uh, today. Uh, for Jefferson, it started last week, and hopefully the Vikings will be getting J.J. Uh, back on Sunday night. National television, you know that uh, J.J. would love uh, the limelight for his return. And speaking of Jefferson, so Kevin Seifert, uh, uh, ESPN down at the bottom. Uh, Jefferson is continuing to ramp up but would need to make a lot of progress to play Sunday night. Uh, we'll determine if it's possible at all to have him for this weekend. O'Connell said better chance than last week, but the team's uh, caution hasn't abated. And also I, I do think that even though Kevin O'Connell has been a relative straight shooter when it comes to injuries, I, I, I'm sure that there's a little bit of gamesmanship, uh, although – I feel like Vance Joseph of Vance Refrigeration and the Broncos defense, that would be stupid if they didn't think that J.J. could be a part of it. Also up at the top with K.J., uh, K.J. is more likely – more than likely will be totally cleared all together by later this afternoon per Kevin O'Connell. Osborne seems likely to play Sunday night against the Broncos who want to get him back going. Uh, he's a big part of our offense. And uh, in his absence, I mean, it really has been next man up at receiver. Jordan Addison has shined, uh, as well as Brandon Powell's really stepped up. Jalen Naylor had a, uh, had a, a small role on Sunday against, uh, the, uh, against the Saints in his first real action. And then with Madison, uh, uh, Alexander Madison concussion is doing really well, O'Connell said. Possible that he'll play Sunday night. Uh, we'll make sure th- uh, that if Alex is able to go, it's because he's completely and totally medically cleared and feels great about going out there uh, against Denver per O'Connell. So that's what I do, do like about this staff is that they're very cautious uh, about injuries, especially when it comes to concussions. Uh, and the also, uh, four listed as full, Dobbs, Dean Lowry, the aforementioned KJ Osborne, as well as Chris Reed. So, I mean... You know, Dobbs popping up in the injury report, it's, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Also listed as full. And, you know, like I said, uh, the Kevin, O'Con- Kevin O'Connell and the Vikings have been very uh, straight shooters when it comes to injury reports. So, you know, the fact that they list guys with an ailment as full participants, I mean, it shows that they're not playing games uh, out there. And then for the Broncos, uh, so two DNP'd, uh, P.J. Locke, uh, the utility safety uh, with an ankle, Ben Powers, uh, their big-time free agent guard from the Baltimore Ravens. Did not have a great game against Ed Oliver and the Buffalo Bills, uh, but uh, that's something to monitor uh, moving forward as he DNP'd with a foot injury. Uh, Baron Browning, who super talented uh, edge rusher, well, former off-ball linebacker, the pride of Ohio State, has been working his way back from knee surgery, does have two sacks on the season, uh, but they're uh, taking it very slow uh, with him. I-, I do expect to see him on Sunday night, though. Marvin Mims Jr., the pride of Oklahoma. List says limited with an ankle, and then Rump Perkins, uh, the edge rusher uh, with the quad, was a full partic- participant. As you ever bite your tongue, and then you seemingly can't stop biting your tongue, I'm living that hell right now.
But uh, uh, Evans is the name to monitor right now. I don't expect Madison to be back. Uh, KJ, uh, like Kevin O'Connell said, is likely to be back. Uh, it might even be fully cleared uh, by a, a certain point this week. And then JJ, I mean, JJ is the, que- uh, the, the major question. Will we see him? Will we not? I, I, I think when he returns, I don't think it will be just like a you know a package of plays, just ease him back in. I think he'll be 100% or nothing. And I Got a good feeling about Sunday night. Uh, I think that JJ uh, is progressing well and has reacted well to uh, practice work, and he'll uh, be good to go there. Hawkinson, uh, Wes Phillips said that he's dealing with uh, two rib injuries, but he's a warrior. He's a stud, man. Love it. Love it. Uh, but that's it. Take a look at Vikings Broncos first injury report. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. I just did it again. <laughs> Ideas. Uh, you know what to do. Skull production value.